All right, so what's in my stock market portfolio this week? So let's get started. So first thing, my RSP with Quest Trade, I've still got my Alibaba shares that I bought at 164, closing yesterday at 147. So this was actually another buying opportunity this week because it reached 139 or even lower, I believe. So I'm holding on to it, probably gonna sell at around $200. And also going, if it does drop again and I have enough liquidity, I'll probably buy more. I've got Bank of Nova Scotia that I bought at 71.8, closing yesterday at 71.09. This is the stock I'm not worried about, I'm collecting 4.5% dividends, biggest one of the biggest banks in Canada. So just a stock I'll hold as long as I have to collect dividends and maybe sell at around 86, 88. I've got Dividend 15 Split Corp 2, which is a mutual fund that pays really good dividends. Although the dividends are suspended right now, but I bought it because eventually when it does pay dividends, it, it's going to be at a crazy yield. So I bought it twice. I bought once at 6.69 and another time at 4, giving me an average price of 4.5. And it closed yesterday at 3.93. So I'm down 12% on that stock, but um, it moves a lot. Fluctu it's very volatile. So it could easily go to five in, in, in the next week or even six. E either I'll keep it and collect the dividends forever or I'll sell at a capital gain. Probably I'll be selling at a capital gain at around $6. Dividend 15 split Corp 2, I bought at 7.99. I had a chance to sell it at 9.4, giving me a 16% gain in not even three days. But I wanted to sell it at 10, so I kept it and instead it just dropped. And so it closed on Friday at 8.38, uh, giving me only a 5% gain. I didn't sell yet. Um, I have a sell order at $10. And I'm not worried because every month I'll be collecting 10 cents a share on this stock. So I'll be collecting $16 every month from a $1,200 investment. Still got four that I bought at 10. It rallied, it rallied this week, closing at 9.38. So I'm down only 6%. I was down way more last week when it was trading at close to $8. I've got the Ford options that I bought at $1.50, closing at $0.85. Cents. So I'm down 43% on that. I've got Facebook that I bought at $1.45, closing at $1.50. It actually reached $1.56 this week, but it closed on Friday at $1.50 with Zuckerberg's uh, lowering expectations. So I'm up 3% on that one. I definitely would like to buy more of if it drops again. I got GM that rallied this week. I bought at 34 a while back, closing at 36. I was actually have a selling order at 37.5 to get my 10% and get out. Um, but it, it reached, I think, 37.18 or something like that, or 37.23. And uh, so it didn't reach the 37.5. And it, it dropped a little bit on Friday and closed at 36. But I'm up 6%. And this is a stock that pays dividends, so I'm not worried about it. I've got Honda Motor that rallied also back. It was trading at 26, now it closed at 28.43, pays about 3.5% dividends. And um, very, very confident in holding this stock, so I'm down 3% on that one. I've got L Brands that also rallied this week, 33.85, so I'm up 8%. I actually have a selling order at 34. It didn't go through, as you can see, it was, came very close. Uh, wanted to sell it and liquidate the stock so I can buy something else. It pays around 8% dividends right now, but I wanted to buy something else because I'm not too confident in L Brands. It, it could drop again in, in any mo at any moment. Although usually after the holidays, this, this stock does go up because of earnings. We've got Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works, I believe is the other one. So usually they're, they're big sellers uh, during the holidays. So yeah, so I'm up 8% on that one for now. We've got Vodafone that I bought at 22.87. It was actually trading at in the 18s. Now it's at 19.45, so I'm down 15%. But it pays dividends twice a year, about 8%. So in my RSP, you could see that the only I'm only up on four things, four out of, I've got 11 holdings, and I'm up, I'm up on only four of these 11 holdings. 8% up, 6%, 3%, and 4 or close to 5% up. Everything else, I'm down 10%, 12%, 6 43 3%, 15%. Not too proud right now. If you look at my TFSA, I've got more Ford that I bought at 10.95, down 14%. I've got some Ford options that I bought at 1, 
closing at 85 cents i'm down 15 percent. i actually had a I have a selling order on this one to sell at 1.25 i felt this week it was it had a good chance of reaching that I've got facebook that i bought initially at 168 closing at 150 so i'm down 10 percent on that one so facebook is a stock i'll, pro I'll probably sell at around 200 dollars at&t that i bought at 32 closing at 30.52 so I'm down 4%. So in my TFSA, you can see you can see I'm down on all my positions. All I can do is wait. Ford and AT&T both pay dividends. So not too disappointed. Just Facebook is the only one that doesn't pay dividends here. But it's got good potential capital gain. I think Q4, they're going to have good earnings and the stock is going gonna, is gonna to bounce up. And if it's not good earnings, it'll be some sort of good news that's going to make this stock go up. So on my investor's edge side, I got some dividends from... Uh, from uh, Dollarama and Nova Sco and Bank of Nova Scotia and I got and I got the grant for the RESP so I got an $500 from the government to trade with and I think with that I put an order on on Alta Gas but it didn't go through so yeah so I've got more Bank of Nova Scotia but in this in in here I bought it at 76 so it closed, closed at 71 Barclays that I bought at 9 I think it closed at around 9.15 on Friday Got Dollarama that I bought at 40.75, closing at 37.85. It actually reached 35 this week because some guy came out saying that he has low expectations of Dollarama, th thinking that they grew too fast and they've 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 reached a cap and they've increased the prices of their items, so they're not even selling anything at a dollar anymore. Uh, the stock reached 35, but as you can see, it rallied back up to 37.85. So it's like it doesn't it doesn't feel like it belongs at 35. I don't agree with the, the news that came out. I don't think it deserved to, to drop to 35, but whatever. It creates a buying opportunity for some. The only thing I don't like about Dollarama is that it does have a lot of debt. It's got more debt, it's got more liabilities than assets. So that's the only thing I don't like about Dollarama, but everything else is good. Revenue and income is growing. Revenue and profits are growing year after year. You could I could see for myself that there's, the stores are growing. They're opening more stores. The existing stores are renovating. I've got Enbridge here that I bought at an average price, I believe, of 48. This one pays good dividends, about 6.5%, closing at 41.19. It, it, it was a good buying opportunity this week. It reached almost 39. In my TFSA, I've got Synovus Energy that I bought at 15. Oh, oh, close to two years now, I've got Dividend 15 Split Corp 2 that I bought at 5.17, closing at 3.93. Got Enbridge that I bought at 46 average price, closing at 41.19. And I've got Hudson's Bay that I bought at 13.5, closing at 8.59. So really, Sonovus Energy and Hudson's Bay were really, really bad trades. I guess I could say I was impatient. I just wanted to buy something. So these were the stocks that dropped at that moment and wanted to buy something in Canadian. So I bought these ones, but definitely were bad choices. It's been, I think it's getting close to two years that I've had them and collecting not even one percent dividends per year from them so yeah these were bad trades enbridge i bought a little bit too high but at least i'm collecting six percent dividends from that stock and dividend 15 split corp 2 i just bought recently so i'm not worried about that and when it starts paying dividends it's going to be almost at a 28 percent yield and uh, if not i'm going to sell at around six dollars for a capital gain on the US side, I've got beautiful General Electric that I bought a long time ago at 17, closing at 9.29. I bought, I actually bought more General Electric at 9.75, but in a different account. I've got Kraft Heinz that I bought at 75, closing at 50. I'm thinking of buying more Kraft Heinz, it actually pays around 5% dividends right now. But I think there's other stocks out there that are more interesting, but it's definitely, this is definitely a stock I'm watching. Got some New York mortgage stress that went up this week. This is a stock that I'm keeping because of the 13% thir dividends per year that it pays. But I bought this at an average price of six, closing at 6.29 this week. I've got orange that I bought at 15.75, closing at 15.93. Also pays about 8% uh, dividends per year. So really my investor's edge is, I don't know why, I've got nothing good in my investor's edge. No good, uh, no good trade in my investor's edge account for some reason. So I'm down pretty much on everything except for New York Mortgage Trust and Barclays. I'm, I'm up on Barclays and up on, 
and up on New York mortgage trust. That's the only thing I've got positive in my Investor's Edge account. So this was a quick video on what's in my stock market, market portfolio this week. I'm going to try to open a margin account today and I'll, I'll upload the video as well. And like always, if you're going to open an account with Questrade, use my referral code in the description below the video so you can get between $25 and $250 back. Thanks for watching.